everybody, this is Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine.com and right now I'm working on my main computer, but sometimes I can't be by my main computer to work on my main computer and that's what we're going to talk about. How do I get my computer, how do I get my screens from over here to over here using what I have here? And that's what we're going to talk about on this episode. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine.com, www.geekazine.com. Let's do this. Boom, there we go. We got a lower third. Uh, I Well, of course, Geekazine over at www.geekazine.com. The Day in Tech History over at dayintechhistory.com. Got many different shows, including Geek Smack. The iPad 365 show, which is an app a day for 365 days. And, of course, Day in Tech History, which is an audio show, also 365 days. Yeah, I do 720, well, 366 days because it's a leap year. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is we're talking about ways that you can be connected. And there's tons of ways you can be connected. And we're going to show you one right here. And that is a program we've been using here at uh, Tech Podcast Network at Geekazine. That is go to my PC. Our friends over at Citrix, I'm going to show you how you can connect up using a PC, using a tablet, and using a smartphone. Now, if I would have an Android, I would have probably used that as well. But there are these are some great ways that you can connect up using go to my PC. Now, my guinea pig is actually my main PC, which is sitting over there. You can't see it here. But if I do this, you can actually see the screen. There's me, and, and I've gotten the webcam up on that one. So, um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show, like I said, only these connections. And with this one, especially, I'm going to actually turn off the Wi-Fi signal because these are all connected to my wireless signal, of course. This one I'm going to turn off. I'm going to use the 3G, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually use it. And this is a 3GS. So this is, uh, this is not the latest and greatest 4S phone or anything like that. So let's, uh, let's get started. We're going to start with a PC. Now, this PC right now, the one thing I can tell you is I've never loaded Go to My PC on this machine. The desktop, basically what you do is you, uh, you load up the software and you basically register and, and you give them all your information. Then you download a client, which gets installed on your PC. Then it hooks up to your internet, just like uh, any other program would, and waits for a connection signal. There's two passwords you have to be uh, concerned about. The first one is the logon password to going to the website, because that's how you connect up to go to my PC. And the second one is the PC password. Now, this is not the login password. If you have a login password on any of your, your machines, this might not be the same password. What this is, is uh, they call it a PIN password. Um, and the reason why is because Go to my, my PC comes in a few different flavors. One is a corporate flavor, which means that multiple people can access the same account, and they'll see a bunch of PCs. But they don't want to. They don't want people getting into the CEO's PC, for example. So the CEO has his own password for his uh, connection, and you have it for your connection. But they, you all use a, a, a shared logon for to get into the Go to My PC session. So. Like I said, I already installed the client. It's been installed on this PC for a long time. So um, I'm going to install it brand new on here, and hopefully we won't have any problems. And if so, you'll see it happen here. And then I'll also connect via these two. And like I said, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi on that. So we're going to start with the PC. This is the PC screen. This is, it says, go to my PC. Over here, you're going to say, hey, I want you to log on. And then, of course, it's going to ask for your secure logon and password. So now I logged into this, this machine, this, this laptop right here, a Windows, regular Windows uh, laptop. It says that uh, I, I, last time I logged in was uh, today. Um, and what I have here is I have my PC already set up on the main one. So basically, when you get onto the little icon, when you, when you load it up on your machine, you load the client up on the machine, it comes up and it says, put in your username and password, the one I just entered into here. And then it'll say, you are now connected on this, on this machine. If you had, if you have more than one uh, ability to hook, to put go to my PC on more than one machine, then like I said, you'd get different, you'd set up different usernames and passwords. If you only have a one client license, um, then you would, it would basically disconnect one account to to put it onto another machine. So let's say 
let's say I wasn't using that main machine, I was using this computer to access, I could easily transfer everything over and say, okay, I want you to use go to my PC over here rather than over there, which is really cool because there's not any lots of steps involved just so you can, uh, you can use a different machine. But you can get a multi-client license. They have several different options for that. Anyway, we'll go back here. So I set up, I set it up, and of course I call it Quad King. So we have a connect here. Of course I can, like I said, I can install on this computer, which I can do really quick. We go and we can say, and we have those options you have to the replace the computer, or you can add more computers to your plan. Um, and so if you did that, I just basically replace Quad King with my own, and I'd hit continue. Like I said, it would install a client. I'll go back here. I want to connect up to my main machine, so I'm going to hit connect. It's going to load. It's going to say, hey, you need to install a plugin. And of course, I'll get that plugin. And it's going to go through that. And as it goes through that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you what I have connected on, and that's through my iPad while it's doing its install process, which might be stuck already. Get the plugin, and it says pop up blocked. That's why. Okay, let's always allow pop ups. Here, I'll show you. Um, this is this is Google Chrome, by the way, and it works it works fine in Google Chrome. Uh, um, but you do have to go to the pop up thing and say, okay, I'm always allowing pop ups from go to my PC. We'll say install plugin. We'll say get plugin. And of course, we got to download Java. <laughs> Agree and start the free download. So I'm going to do that, and as I do that, I'm going to show you how to hook up on the iPad. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up go to my PC. And we'll do it from right here. So you can see, you, you can't really see it because, uh, of course, there's glare on there. But you have you have my machine right there. I'm going to hit that connect button. It says connecting to Quad King. And it's asking for the access code, which is uh, which is a code that you uh, you set up. Like, the, like I said, that second password. It's not the password. That you would normally log into your uh, your computer you can actually have a completely different password, which I do. All right. Now what it does is it shows up this screen. This screen is called your virtual mouse right here. It tells you uh, you can use this virtual mouse to hold and drag and move around. Of course, you can also use the regular functions like squeeze the uh, uh, pinching and and resizing and everything like that. So I'm gonna close out that window, and of course here we go. Here is my desktop. Here's my, my computer that's sitting over there. I've got two screens, two monitors on my computer, and you're seeing both the monitors. And if I turn it, you can see that the monitors, it, it works just fine. You can actually see both screens, which is great. On, the, on your, uh, your left, my right, <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. You see my website, geekazine.com, and on the other side, you see the webcam. Let's see if I can do this. You got this mouse right here which I can then move around. I've got a left click and a right click, and then I can use that, I can move that around on that screen. I can zoom in and zoom out. So I could zoom into the first screen, move over to the second screen, just like that. And then when I need to click on something, I can just go to that virtual mouse and move it around and click on the left button, click on the right button. There's a little drop down menu. So I pulled this down, there we go, that's a different screen different one right there. So I pull that down, we get some different options. We got disconnect, the arrow keys, of course we can set up a key, we can get the keyboard, preferences and help. So um, I'll choose keyboard and of course the on-screen keyboard shows up. If I hit that button again, I can go to arrow keys and we got a little arrow key that shows up right there. Of course preferences, I can choose some of the preferences on there, um, which would then, which then show up on that PC. And I have to make the changes from there. And then, of course, there's a big old help section, which will bring up this screen once again. And then, of course, disconnect. Are you sure you want to disconnect from that machine? Yes, I do. So that's basically through the iPad. That's pretty straightforward. Like I said, this uh, I'm using my Wi-Fi, which is a pretty good signal. So uh, what would happen if you didn't have it on Wi-Fi? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take my, my iPhone, like I said, it's a 3GS iPhone. I'm going to go back over here, and you go in, and you go to settings, and I am going to turn off 
the Wi-Fi just to use the 3G network. So, as you can see, the Wi-Fi is now off. Close that up. Go over to go to my PC. Go to my PC's loading. And then of course it's going to ask for my username and password. It's, it's taking a, a little bit longer. So it's logging in. And the first password you can actually save onto that device so you don't have to sit there and type in a whole bunch of numbers. Speaking of which, passwords, you need to, you need to have good passwords, by the way. I always do two words, put them together, capital letters. I put in some special characters like a, like a, a period or an exclamation point or something like that. And then I put a number somewhere in there too. So that's that's most important. I'm, I won't go on too much about that. So so now I'm connecting up using Quad King. There it is right there. And it's going to be asking me. Yep, it's going to say I want you to enter in your uh, your second password. Like I said, that's not the login to the PC. That's the login you set up. That second password you set up in Go to My PC. I think that's very important because I had actually had a couple people ask me that question. So I enter in the. Uh, the PC, of course, you see that virtual mouse come up again, and I'll X on that, and this is all 3G. This is all 3G, and uh, look at that. It's showing it up. Let's turn it. I can see both screens. I got that little virtual mouse. I can move that virtual mouse just like I did before. I can pinch in, pinch out, make it bigger, make it smaller. I can scroll back and forth and look at how smooth that is. And it's actually, uh, if, if I click on something, watch how fast it goes. Look at that. It's gone. I mean, very, very little lag time as it's, as it's going. And like I said, this is 3G. And, of course, I've got a three-bar system uh, on the 3G. I don't know how my strength of the 3G is right now. So... All right, so we installed Java on this machine. And of course you saw it on the iPhone. You can see it, there you go. And I'm turning it and it's actually moving around. I was in an airport in Chicago um, heading to Vegas and I knew that there was a small problem. I connected up to this machine without any issue. And at that point, the 3G was kind of coming and going in Chicago's airport, which meant that every now and then it would go from 3G back to E back to 3G and it actually did do that I believe while I was on this session and it kept my session going so we, we, we connected and you could actually see a little flicker on the screen because basically I got windows uh, the, the color scheme has to change on there so those are the two devices like I said Android's the same way you, you hook it up via Android and go from there now let's see what happens with this desktop and as we're doing this you know hey and uh, we'll switch this over here. Just remember, you can always go and use Go to My PC. We've got a great offer over at Tech Podcast Network and Geekazine for that matter. If you podcast, you go over to go to mypc.com, click that Try It Free Now button, and enter in the code podcast. You get a 30 day free trial. So you can try this out for yourself on any of your devices, record yourself a video, just like I'm doing, and send it to me and tell me this is how easy it is for me to use Go to My PC. And it's a 30 day free trial by using the code PODCAST. All right, let's go back over here. Here's our screen. We uh, just loaded the Java runtime, so now this is ready to go. And now it's gonna load. It's gonna say, hey, would you like to run this software? I'm gonna say yes. And of course, it's gonna download some software really quick. It only takes a few. And let me try this again, because I think you still thought I was connected on the other machine. So you'll get that on Chrome, you'll get that option, say, hey, I want you to uh, run this this time or run it all the time. And it says that reloads are not acceptable. So I'm going to have to back up a second and then connect up to this machine again. There we go. Run this time. And now it's saying initializing with the host computer. Please enter your access code. So I'll enter that. And it then came up with this screen asking me to, uh, it's, it might be blocking, so I say allow ask access, Windows 7 machine, security right there. And of course, it, the uh, screen, I just got to move it over here, is right here. There's desktop number one. Now, if I, if I uh, move the cursor over here, click on here, there's desktop number two. If I do this right, it'll actually just do a slide between the two. As you can see, 
There's uh, geekazine.com on my on my secondary monitor, and my primary monitor has the show Day in Tech History. I can go over to my webcam, which I believe was right here. There's my webcam. I, I'll go over here and wave to it. Of course, the frame rate's not going to be perfect, so, you know, if, you, if you're connecting up for video, then probably not the best thing. But you can connect up to this PC. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of things, in, in this case, in real time. When I'm on Wi-Fi, when I was, at, I was at a hotel that actually had really, really terrible Wi-Fi. So what I did was I got on, go to my PC, and got onto my PC at home, and I used my internet connection at home to find all the cool stuff and, and, and do some searching. So here's the techpodcast.com uh, uh, website. As you can see, Control Out Deliver is uh, the latest show that's that's on the docket. You can see my show's iPad 365. I'll have options, uh, file, uh, view, tools, and help. So I can go to file. I can say create shortcuts or select to go to my, C my PC printer, which you can also set up. And of course, tools, you can send a Control Out Delete. You can launch the task manager. You can chat with the host computer. So if you're working with somebody, you can you can chat with them or leave a message on the screen, and maybe uh, maybe the wife will see that if you're away, or transfer or sync files. And this is a great option to move files from your 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 travel machine to your your stagnant machine. Of course, a whole bunch of preferences there. And that's connecting up. We're connected up three different ways. Three different ways. We connected up via PC. We connected up via Wi-Fi on your on your iPad. And of course, we went 3G on a 3GS. <laughs> I like saying that. So, and these are all the ways you connect up. Like I said, there's also an Android app. I don't have an Android device to show you how well that works. Um, but a lot of people have been saying this is a great device. And I, I give you the challenge. I say, hey, make a video yourself of you using go to my PC, send it to me. My Twitter's Geekazine, my email is geekazine at gmail.com and send it to me and let me know how you use go to my PC. It's a great way, especially if you're if you're in a hotel or something like that that doesn't have great Wi-Fi. Um, you can even hook up to your iPhone or our 3G source. It also saved me money because I didn't have to buy another MiFi card, another 4G card. Because when I go out to Vegas, I rented a 4G card, and the first couple of years it was like eight dollars a day, and this year they jumped it up to thirty dollars a day, and that was an extra expense I really didn't need. So that's it. That's that's how we connect. We connected on PC, we connected on tablet, and we connected on on a 3G service, and we had a great connection. And I, I and and like I said, I, I I could I could say this right now, and yeah, we have a great connection. But I'll tell you, I've never had a bad connection. And of course, I back it 100%. I love I love Citrix uh, Citrix Go to My PC, just like I love Go to My Go to Meeting, just like I love Go to Webinar, just like I love Go to Assist. And they're all great pro products. But of course, go to my PC. Try it yourself. Like I said, 30 days for free. 30 days. Just go over to go to my PC, click the Try It Free Now button, and turn the code podcast. Like I said, send me a video. Uh, call me at 608-205-4378. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next time on Geekazine. And don't forget to geek out.